Hey guys, just a quick update on the brassica bed. It's looking amazing. Every day I'm pulling off those dreaded worms, but what can you do? I have noticed that a few of my cauliflowers have started forming some heads. So what I'm going to do today is take a little bit of jute. I unfortunately couldn't get some gardening tape and I'm going to be pulling the leaves right up around those heads and covering them. And all this will really do is protect the heads from going yellow from the sun. And yeah, hopefully in about a week or two, we can start harvesting. This must be gone already. Oh, that's the one I've got to pull out. I'm also just checking because that other one got totally eaten. Oh, I have to come blast this first. So this has been a bit of a good exercise. We've lost one cauliflower and I'll show you why and what's going on. So I'll be cutting this one out. You can see it's completely eaten by worms. So I must have missed that one. And this one over here, it's not lost yet. They haven't gotten into the actual cauliflower, but you can see right at the bottom, there's some eggs and what have you. So I'm just going to get my hose and give it a spray before I tie it up because I don't want to trap any worms. Okay, so if you're wondering why I'm spraying all the cauliflower heads, it's because there's, I've actually found a couple of those cabbage worms that were a bit hidden from my sort of daily check. And everything in our garden is organic, so we don't use any sprays. So I am going to get rid of two, sadly, because I see they're just overly infested and they've already had a good chow down on the cauliflower heads themselves. Uh, something else I've learned recently, and that is to not pull the plants out, because when you disturb the roots and the garden bed itself you're actually disturbing those microorganisms so we're just going to cut right down at the base and let the roots rot on their own and that will hopefully feed back into our soil and continue to improve so i'm just going to get rid of the two oh my gosh it's... wow So, it's quite sad actually, but I'll just break this open and show you what's going on a bit clearer. So we've obviously had a moth lay some eggs in here and it has very sadly damaged the entire crop. Look at all of that. This is the best time to grow them. Obviously they're cool crops and it is when you're sort of cabbage worms and what have you are less. We did have a net over these to start our seedlings off, took them off because the bed obviously got too tall. So we'll alter that system for next season. I guess the other thing perhaps maybe I've done, I really jam packed this bed in. So this is our first time growing brassicas, but I think overall not looking too bad. So see you during harvest time. Just gonna go and tidy the bed up now. 
Okay guys, so it's been just over a week since we tied up our cauliflower and we're going to take a sneak peek today and possibly harvest all of it because the endless battle with the cabbage moth worm is still going on. It is becoming very frustrating and this has become a serious fail on my end, but more on that later. Let's see what we can actually salvage. So in fear of losing any more cauliflower, we're going to go and harvest the ones that I have tied up. And I've just noticed that we've got two more that have started forming little white heads. So we will be tying those up today as well. So I've been finding the stems of these cauliflower plants really thick and quite difficult to cut. So I'm just going to come in with some serious reinforcement because I don't have any fancy harvesting equipment at the moment. So hopefully not all is lost. I managed to cut down five. So we're just going to quickly take off the string and see what we're left with. It smells incredible. So far, this one seems to have come away fairly unscathed. So that is very exciting for me. That is a beautiful head of cauliflower. I'm very happy with that one. All right. Let's see what we have here. Despite what I'm wearing today, it is actually very warm out. So we're definitely nearing the end of the season for cauliflower. Now this one does seem to have some worms in it, but I'm just gonna see just how much they actually managed to get to because that worm doesn't actually seem to be alive anymore. So I'll just have to see. Look, looks largely unscathed. So I think with a good thorough wash, should be pretty good. This one feels very heavy. So I'm hoping he's a little bigger. I'm just amazed at the sheer thickness of these stems though. They're so heavy. Oops. Oh incredible the smell like it's a pretty decent size for a perfect looking head not a single worm has touched this one that is incredible Sven is going to be so happy he loves cauliflower it's the size of my palm all right two more to go a wormhole oh. oh and the worm's still wiggling great huh. I don't know if you can see him there I'll just squish it off and hopefully we can just chop those bits off pretty perfect head there was just a few worm bits there so I will just take that it off but incredible oh, he's a tiny tiny little one I probably could have left this one quite a little bit longer however because I tied them up it started getting more and more difficult to inspect and check for worms so it's not as big as the others but you know what he is definitely a little one serve <laughs> but that is a pretty I think first time going decent harvest 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to quickly tie up those last two that I found. And I guess that's going to be the end of our cauliflower harvest for the year. Look, it's not too bad. I myself personally don't really eat it that much. So I think this will be enough for the first season. We're going to tie up this really little one. Because I really don't want to lose any more. I'm just double checking for worms. I can't see any eggs or worms at the moment so i think now would be a good time to just bundle it up there's our second one and it is looking pretty perfect so i'm going to just do the same thing so i found one i missed and it is completely eaten i'll quickly harvest it and then show you the worm itself is still hanging on for dear life so it's it's really had a good snack on this one um, if I had chooks I would be giving this to them but we don't so unfortunately this will just go in the compost bin for now I am going to continue just to clean this bed up a little bit just quickly show you what's happening I've completely failed the season and I'm I'm so gutted because I knew exactly what to do but I just went about it the wrong way so i had previously netted all of my brassicas in this bed with a insect net because they don't require pollination and it was working an absolute treat the bed was my absolute pride and joy then the crops got too big for the net so instead of jimmying up the system and <laughs> raising the hoops i just took it all off completely and stupidly thought oh well winter we won't need it I've now lost pretty much half the crop so very big lesson learned it is one of those crops where it's just going to be safe to leave the net on the entire growing season so please don't make this mistake that I have quickly show you the broccoli we've had one this entire season and I have planted this entire bed full of broccoli cauliflower and cabbage and now this is all that's left right so you can see that this broccoli has taken serious strain i'm actually going to pull this one out as well this one i'd already cut the head off this one it's struggling and it's got more worms attached to it pretty much all of them you can actually see some of the worms on here so what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to clear this entire bed while those two little cauliflowers that are still busy growing and rather start preparing the bed for the next crop which i'm thinking is going to be sweet potatoes yeah all right guys i think i'm going to enjoy the little bit of harvest we managed to get and hopefully have taught you a couple of things of what not to do <laughs> anyway see you guys on the next one